I am Chris from Magoosh and welcome to GRE Vocabulary Wednesday and I got four words of the day for you. What does that mean? Four. Well, I know four and hopefully you know four, but words of the day come from dictionary.com. They have this word of the day feature, which I must warn you, do not go there and start trying to memorize all those words because there are some crazily obscure words like two people in the entire country know what they mean. But they also have helpful words that pop up with the GRE subtitles. So what I did is I plucked them from all of the crazy obscure words and I brought them to you today. Beginning with brevity. Brevity, hmm, sounds good. Shakespeare once said brevity is the soul of wit, but what does this actually mean? Well, brevity is a fancy way of saying brief. If something is brief, it doesn't last for a long time. So brevity is the soul of wit, meaning humor is something that you should just be really snappy about instead of trying to make it long and drawn out. However, my description of brevity was a little bit drawn out, but hopefully that's helpful and we can move on to the next word. Dun 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 dun, it's Saturnine. The new sci-fi show coming to you, where we travel with nine spaceship passengers around the planet of Saturn, figuring out just how many rings does this planet have? No, that is not the definition of Saturnine. Saturnine isn't even actually that cool. It means to be morose and gloomy and depressed. Oh, it is February, and I live in the North Pole. Every day is darkness. I am Saturnine. That's the definition. So I think morose and gloomy, and never smiling. And then we have something that has nothing to do with smiling, or maybe it does, it's commodious. Commodious means large. So if you're in this large hall where you can hear your voice echo, 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 it is a commodious hall. If you don't eat for a while and your belly is empty, you have lots of room in your belly, it's time to eat, you would have a commodious belly. Though I usually don't hear it used in that context. It's more just about roomy. Speaking of commodious bellies, I have a daughter, she's four years old, and she says, Dada? I say, yes, yes, me. And she says, can I have another cookie? And I say, no, because you haven't eaten your dinner. And she keeps asking for the cookie, and asking because she wants to have lots of cookies in her commodious belly, but I, Remain firm, that is intransigent. I will not yield or bend to her will. I am strong. Actually, I always bend to her will and give her a cookie. But the definition of the word of intransigent is someone who doesn't bend in or give in easily. And I hope you don't bend in and yield to all these difficult words, but words, but you master them. And I will see you next week.